Hello then. Heavy rain has dominated weather headlines in recent days and there's more wet weather to come. In fact, for some parts of southern England, we've already seen way above the average monthly rainfall totals. And in these three towns, we've actually had three times more rain than we should have in September. And with the next couple of days, we're likely to see another 50 millimetres at least in some spots, a couple of inches, the darker blues denoting where the heaviest of the rain is likely to be. So slightly quieter, drier story for Scotland. But low pressure dominates and these weather fronts will move their way steadily eastwards as we go through Thursday. That front will grind to a halt almost across northern England and into Northern Ireland, accompanied by a brisk easterly wind. So really feeling quite miserable on those exposed east coast. To the north of that, it's going to be dry with a few scattered showers. To the south of that, however, some of those showers really could turn quite torrential. Hail, thunder mixed in there. And yes, it really will be quite significant. But there will be some sunny spells to go with it as well. And it could potentially still feel quite humid here. 18 or 19 degrees, not out of the question. Cooler in the rain, 10 or 11. And that cooler air continues to dominate in Scotland. And that's because a northerly wind which will gradually push the rain away, but it will introduce this fresher feel for all of us on Friday. So there will be some rain lingering across East Anglia and South East England for a time. That eases away during the afternoon. Sunny spells and scattered showers continue for most, but because of the direction of the wind, those temperatures really quite subdued for this time of year. On the whole, generally between 9 and 14 degrees. Clear skies continue through the night. That is going to allow the potential for a frost to form. And so it will be a chilly start. Low single figures, perhaps below in more rural spots worth bearing in mind. But that means as we head into the weekend, high pressure is going to build for a time and quieten things down. So not a bad weekend, particularly on the Saturday. However, another area of low pressure will gradually move into the southwest as we go through Sunday. So Saturday, a better day, more heavy rain to come as we move through Sunday and into Monday.